Day four of fall, and what are we gonna roll today for our RNG challenge? A three, we get another foraging day. And a female slime hatched, apparently, okay. Uh, ooh, strange things happening when large fields of cauliflower, melon, or pumpkin. Oh, sweet, that's, it's the thing telling me how, uh, telling me that giant crops are possible. Spirits are in good humor, and it's gonna be cloudy. Fern Islands, okay. But I'm not worried about the weather at Fern Islands anymore. Okay, um... Uh, huh. So I don't think I need to do... Oh, not that one. I was gonna put this fish in there. Okay. Yeah, grab that coffee. So it's a foraging day. Um, the question is, what do I want to spend this foraging day doing? Like, what, should I go anywhere in particular? Anything? Any place special? Shipping crate full of sugar. There we go. Salmonberry and wild plum. Cool. Cool. those into a single triple shot espresso. So for foraging, uh, it's only been a couple days, so I don't think the desert's going to have a lot for me. Nothing really around here for me. And there's no birthdays until tomorrow. This foraging day might be a bit of a bust. We need foraging days next week, not this week, so that we can get a uh, blackberry season, get a ton of, of uh, blackberries off the bushes. I mean, we can get some here the normal way, but getting a crap ton all at once is really handy. What other things we got? to power the in latest invention. Oh, cool. I don't think I saved a sandfish. I saved a scorpion fish, but I don't think I saved a sandfish. I've been catching hints of fresh crab all day. Ha! That's, that, that's funny. That is absolutely funny. Robus doesn't have anything special for me that I can buy on Thursday. Um, I guess checking the forest is really the only other foraging thing I can think to do right now. And it's not a farming day, so I can't really prep my, my farm. I want to move my, my coop and my barn up to be above my, uh, my other thing. 
But I need a farming day to prep my farm layout. There's just not that much foraging out here. The, the next best thing I can do is just chop trees for the rest of the day, but that's just chopping trees for the rest of the day. mushroom at least. Alright, some good valuable forageables. blocking the passage there. At least it seemed to be. Oh, it's just the it's just the uh, the ledge. I was like, is there something blocking that? Ooh, palm fossil. Nice. Shane, what's up, man? Oh, where's the Joja Cola? Uh, oh, sweet. I got a whole bunch of people up at 10 now. Demetrius is closed. Pierre is closed. Where is Shane at? Oh, Shane's only six hearts. Okay, I think I need two more hearts with Shane to, uh, to get the blue chicken event. And once we get the blue chicken event, eventually I'm going to try and fill my whole coop full of blue chickens. to harvest those today, so let's just put those aside. How much hay do we have? Oh yeah, we're all, we're still almost maxed out. They've been enjoying eating the wild stuff. some bone fragments that we dug up. Ooh, you know what I can do, actually? So I'm going to take the tree fertilizer. I am going to go ahead and go to, uh... Oh. Hey, Abigail. I'm gonna go ahead and run to Calico Desert, put down tree fertilizer where I can, cut down other things that I can. And, oh, I see sparkles, I see water sparkles. There 
one down here. Ooh. I do need to get a rare cloak down here, but I also need a million gold to get that special statue. We got all the wood and stuff that we can from there, which is a pretty good haul, pretty good haul. I think that is pretty much going to be the day, is uh, just cutting trees. Like, aside from bringing people some gifts here and there, there's not much I can do. I do need to, I, I should go ahead and like sell one piece of that maybe. Um, okay, you know what I am gonna do though? I'm gonna take one of these Void Essence. Uh, one of, how about an Amethyst. And go grab one of my Void Eggs that I had on standby. Good old Kroby. Cool. Thought I ran into something. I'm like, is there something in the way there? I'm just gonna go ahead and bring a uh, bring this to the wizard as a gift. And then also check the Dwarf and Krobus. I can bring them gifts. Since their friendships are harder to, je to get up, I should try and take advantage of, like, when I have these kinds of days where there's not a lot of activity for me to actually be able to do, I can, oh, you found my ink. Excellent. Uh. Did you happen to see my ex-wife? No? Well, what about her house? Do you think she lives alone, or... You don't want to know. Actually, don't tell me I don't want to know. Yeah, good idea. She, uh, she, she's apparently hunkering down with the goblin. Anyway, you must be wondering about your reward. Here. Zoom! It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I'll make it simple for you. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm. I think you'll find it useful. Oh, I almost forgot to say, um, thank you. Sure thing, dude. There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you wish to discover them. All right, so stone, star, fruit, fiber. Oh, and 20,000. Yeah, I need to save up gold for that then. Which is good, because I was... Good thing I checked, because I was about to consider what else I can, like, just blow my funds on. Okay, I was getting, like, a weird control stutter there. What was going on with that? Oh, Sam. What are you doing all the way out here at the river? I guess I should think about, I, sh I should start thinking about moving out soon. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, hmm. What if it's too late to hit that saloon event too? Private dining room thing with. 
Kate. And Gus is playing violin. Okay, what? I... I... Okay, I am a little shook here. What the hell? Thanks, Gus. That was great. What is this? I've never dined in here before. Uh... Anyway, I reserved this private room so we could talk. I've got a linguine with mushroom cream sauce for Mr. Neofanks and grilled steak for Alex. Oh, yeah, that, that tracks. Absolute, like, you know, steak and bacon guy. So what I wanted to say was... When we first met, I was instantly drawn to you. It was confusing. I never felt that way about anyone. I kept telling myself, you can't have these feelings for another guy. Oh, he was he, he was like, oh, just the gay awakening. Oh, and you can actually just destroy it right here. You know what? No. I the dice have spoken that Alex is the marriage. Chomp. The steak is outstanding. Can you smell that fragrance? Uh, what the? Seriously, the dog through the window? Are you freaking kidding me? His dog comes barging in through the saloon window. Okay, that, that was a little unhinged. Like, what the hell with the dog? The, the dog just kind of... I don't know if the dog ruined the scene or made it infinitely better. Oh, boy. A shadow person above ground? This is outrageous. Your people were responsible for the death of my entire family. If you dwarves hadn't driven us from our ancestral home, we never would have... We'd never have had to resort to violence. I'm sorry about your family. Sorry isn't going to cut it. Oh, boy. Hey, you two. Seriously, knock it off. I am stronger than both of you, and I have the sword to prove it. Come and get it, shrimp. Oh, hey, Mr. Wizard. Oh, yeah, just scorch it. Silence, both of you. We don't need these longer. The elemental wars have long been finished. You have no reason to be fighting any longer. The two of you must make peace for the sake of the humans that live around you. Very well. I'll just stay away from the sewer from now on. I'm truly sorry about the past, dwarf. I have no personal gripe with you. I shall cast a seal of promise to finalize this agreement. There we go. Magically induced peace treaty. You know, humans tend to destroy things they don't understand. I forgot to uh, bring the wizard his thing. Although it's not too late to bring the uh, the void essence to the wizard. I can actually get to the dude faster if I go this way and then backtrack to the wizard. To the mines! I got a little gemstone for you, dude. Let's see. How are we on our... Oh, wow. Krobus is at four, and the dwarf is at five. Okay, cool. 
Sandy and Harvey are the lowest. Ooh, okay, yeah, they're gonna... Sandy's gonna take a little... I need to remember to bring a flower from, uh, like, any time I go to the desert. I, I should remember to bring a, uh, one of those iridium-quality flowers. I would just remember that. Sandy's friendship would get cranked up super high, although her birthday is coming up. Oh. Probably know him better than I do. Oh. Oh, 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 I saw River Sparkles. Oh, copper. Not enough to finish Clint's objective before it wear before it times out, but eh, I still got a little bit of copper. It's not bad. Wizard relationship. Wizard, wizard, wizard. Five hearts. Okay, not bad. Not too bad. I am I am making progress on those guys. Way. Hit uh, hit these trees that are up close to the farm entrance. Good way to just use up the rest of the time of the day, because these trees will grow back, and the extra wood always comes in handy. Can't go wrong with extra wood. Especially when I decide to go and make a, uh, a keg room. stuff and we got oh wow one two three four over four full stacks of wood mm. yeah, okay you know what we're gonna go ahead and craft up as many tea saplings as we can manage and just drop them in for the sale so we can at least get a, another nice payday. We gotta get that cash flow in. Good kitty. All right, this has been a good foraging day for day four. Uh, well, not really. I can't say it's been a good foraging day since I, you know, I had free day forage day, free day forage day back to back. So. I'm kind of strapped for things that I can forage since they don't spawn in fast enough for me to really get a daily benefit from it. But thanks to the saplings, we got a bit of a payout here. And uh, yeah, that, that got us a bit, 7,000. So that'll put us closer, uh, pretty close to where we can do the house upgrade for 50,000. But before I do that house upgrade, I want to get the Junimo huts down so that I can have those taking care of my crop field a little bit. Although... Actually, you know, I should probably wait until winter to put the Junimo huts down, now that I think about it. Since I already have this field down, and then 
the Juno huts we can harvest, but they won't be able to replant. But if I wait till winter, I can set up the field so that I have maybe two huts in there and then plant only things that do a constant regrow cycle. Uh, although for spring, that me for spring that would be coffee. Oh, and I didn't save a lot of coffee beans. So coffee, strawberries, uh, what else? Um, oh, green beans. And then everything else I can put in the greenhouse since since the greenhouse doesn't run out. Oh, also ancient seeds. Got to remember to do the ancient seeds too. That way the Junimos can go ahead and harvest everything that'll be a regrow crop. That, that I think that'll be the plan for year three. All the regrow, like the, my field is going to be all regrow stuff. And then for my greenhouse, I'll eventually put down uh, like the super high quality speed grow and just load it up with a constant flow of crops that don't need to be replanted. That way I'd never have an issue with crops dying out before the end of a season.